So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to start at 1973. So the U.S. Treasury had 8,133 metric tons of gold. The mark-to-market -market price of gold in 1973 was 42.22 U.S. dollar per troy ounce. So the U.S. Treasury issued 11 billion U.S. dollars worth of gold certificates to the Federal Reserve for that amount. Now, the Federal Reserve does not have any claims to any of the U.S. Treasury gold. But what it did was it just created $11 billion out of nowhere and deposited that, that U.S. dollars into the Treasury General Account, which is the TGA. The important thing to remember here is that the Federal Reserve only has claims to 11 billion US dollars from the US Treasury, but it doesn't have any claims to the US Treasury gold. What this means is that the US Treasury still own the 8,133 tons of physical gold, free and clear, unencumbered. Let's fast forward 52 years to 2025, which is um, the year that we're in. Let's say um, the US Treasury wants to revalue its 8,133 tons of gold to mark to market value. What happens? The first thing the US Treasury will do is to redeem the Federal Reserve for the $11 billion of U.S. Treasury Gold Certificate that was issued back in 1973. Next, the U.S. Treasury will issue new gold certificates that is valued at $1 trillion U.S. dollars sometime in 2025 when gold is marked to market value at 3500 US dollars per troy ounce. The Federal Reserve will then create 1 trillion US dollars out of nowhere and deposit that 1 trillion US dollars into the Treasury General Account, which is the TGA. The steps that I just described is actually done in one accounting operation. So the Federal Reserve would simply uh, deposit the difference in uh, US dollars to the TGA instead of the separate steps that I described. So what are the final results here? The US Treasury still has the 8,133 metric tons of physical gold allocated and unencumbered, meaning that the U.S. Treasury physically own the 8,133 metric tons of physical gold, and the Federal Reserve doesn't have any claims to it. On top of that, the U.S. Treasury also has an additional 1 trillion US dollars in the TGA minus the 11 billion dollars that they paid to the Federal Reserve. So you see guys, the Federal Reserve for the entire duration of the last 52 years never had any claims to the US Treasury 8,133 metric tons of gold. So if the Fed leased out U.S. Treasury gold to its banks to buddies, you see Braun behind um, Taiwan, that's something else. That's not this uh, U.S. Treasury gold certificate deal that we have here.